Hi, my name's Colette Matriga. I'm really excited to tell you a little bit more about the new sensor from Thermomix. It's a digital thermometer um, powered by Bluetooth that extends the guided cooking ability of your TM6 to the barbecue, your stovetop, and even the oven. You're gonna get perfect results, even better than you could possibly think. And I have actually been blown away by this thing. It comes in its own charging station, this little white box that you see, that's powered by a AAA battery that should last you about a year. Inside the little charging box, we have the probe. The probe has two temperature measurements, the top being the ambient, the environment you're in, it could be in the oven, for example, and you have the core temperature, which is read by the point at the bottom. You've also got a very small line, which is an indicator of where you need to put your probe into whatever you're cooking. Now, the really great thing about the sensor is that you're going to get perfect results, whether you're cooking meat, poultry, fish, cakes, or even dough. So I did a beautiful yogurt cake a few days ago and normally I would cook that for around 35 minutes. That's what the recommendation would have been. With the sensor in, I actually pulled that out 10 minutes earlier and I have to say it was the most beautiful crumb and I would learned the lesson there not to cook my cake so long. But it's a great tool for actually teaching us about that right environment. So breads, cakes, meats, all have different core temperatures and when they reach that core temperature, that's the perfect point. And we may not know that for all the food, but the smart Thermomix knows that now with the aid of this sensor. So let's take a little look at how we would use that with the Thermomix. It's really easy to set up. There's great support systems there. So I've got one of the sensor specific recipes there are cookbooks and lots of recipes already that we can choose and I'm going to speed ahead to the part where the sensor is engaged. Um, let's head down, so I think it would be about here and hitting next. So what will happen on this recipe is going to give you a video of how to set that probe in place and it tells you step by step exactly what to do with the sensor. So it's a really great facility that you can actually use. It's super easy to use. Now, what I want to do today is, I'm going to just cancel this recipe. Excellent. I have got a, a lovely bit of chicken. I've had fabulous results cooking whole chickens um, and all sorts of different meats, cakes, breads, really great results. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to engage. Now I'm not going to do this through a guided recipe. I have a small chicken breast here and I've actually rubbed that in the British Spice Rub which is beautiful. And I have my probe and just Following those instructions, I'm going to insert that into the chicken so that that little line is actually covered. Now, I want to head to my um, modes, or you can pull down the cook station, and I'm going to go to the sensor. And here we have our sensor screen. I need to pop in there um, and let the Thermomix know what I want to cook. So I'm going to be cooking some poultry. And I've got chicken. And I am actually cooking a chicken breast. Now it's given as a guide, depending on how you want your chicken done. I like mine done quite lightly. So I'm going to go to medium because I'm going to take it out and let it rest to actually come up to a higher temperature. Um, and once I've done that, I'm going to send that information to um, my probe and it's telling me to insert it. So you can see it's inserted just at a slight angle and that's all done, so I'm pressing OK. Now what it's telling me on the screen is that the current temperature here in the house is 19 degrees. It's lovely and cool on this hot day and we want to get up to 68. It's telling me to place it in the heat source, so I'm going to now pop that in the oven and then what's going to happen, it's going to give me an estimated cook time and that will change a little bit as we progress. 
but towards the end it's going to be fairly accurate so I have a good idea when I need to take this out of the oven. Then I'm going to rest it and I'm going to come back and we're going to cut through and I'm going to show you how absolutely gorgeous this little piece of chicken is going to be. So the Thermomix has actually rung out to tell me that this is cooked and finished and cooked to perfection. So I've rested my chicken for five minutes and I've just literally sliced into it. Can you actually see all that beautiful moisture? This is a perfectly cooked piece of chicken. It is soft, tender and very, very moist. It's not dry at all. Oh, have to have some. Love it. Not chewy, beautiful and succulent. Ah, excellent. Before we go, I just want to um, show you this little plug here at the bottom. This is used to attach to the side of your cake pans. So the probe will slot into one of these two holes and that holds it into position for those loose cake batters. The other thing is that you can download an app and that will enable you to use your sensor in the barbecue away from the Thermomix. So it's very versatile, super easy to use and you're going to have success after success. Why take a guess? My name's Colette Matriga. I love this little guy. Go check it out in the next shop.